Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question if you can replace the Eero router from Frontier by another Wi-Fi router. I mean, usually we are getting the Eero 6 Pro, which is a very good router. I mean, it's I think $230 on the market. And so there's usually no need to replace it with another Wi-Fi router. But of course, there are still some limitations. And especially the thing is that it has only one input and one output uh, Ethernet port and that's a huge limitation and maybe there are also some other things maybe you have um, 10 or 20 cameras or other devices which are already connected and they cannot connect for some reason to the Eero or whatsoever so the question again can you directly hook up another device and other Wi-Fi router to the frontier device which you get in your house i mean that's actually this device which i'm talking about this thing down there yeah maybe first idea would be to hook up like a switch something like that which has just one or two inputs and many outputs ethernet things why uh, not to hook it up directly to this black frontier device and i can tell you no it's not possible this definitely doesn't work don't hook it up to this black small device down here that's not working i mean it won't do any harm but it's definitely not working but something which is definitely working that's something like that yeah stop this here again you can definitely hook it up directly to such a Wi-Fi router I mean of course you have to use the upload link or the, the uh, ban uh, link or LAN port here and you don't have to configure anything you don't have to go into settings and then configure like a van ip or so that's not needed because there's no real modem needed anymore uh, with the frontier setup at least not for the modern setup which we have i mean i had my installation done just about two weeks or maybe a month ago and I can definitely confirm that there is no problem to hook up a Wi-Fi router directly to this black small device down there and then you have also usually some Ethernet output and then of course from the Wi-Fi router if it's still need you can go to a switch something like that that would definitely work but you cannot go into such a switch and then into the Wi-Fi router you have to go first into the Wi-Fi router and then from there into this switch and that's actually already it I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time